Animal TV. We've had a recent explosion of the new band, which is so popular. Its first three hits were immediately set on TV. We'll interview each separate band member now. We'll start with the drama, Jock Jigglesfield. Hello, Jock. Oh, hi. What's your experience for me? Really good. You know, I really... Um, I really didn't want to be a drummer. I wanted to be a piano guy. But I realized it was so hard to be someone who played the piano. So I chose the drums. Because I always thought I was quite a rocky guy. So, why... Why... So, why didn't you... Why didn't you base, why did you choose the Jaguar? Well, basically to show my dominance, because Jaguars are very scary to me. Yeah, I thought I could take them, but when I had a fight with one, it hurt so much. Alright, we've had a nice time interviewing with you, Jock Jugglesfield, but it's time to go to Nigel Naza. Oh, Nigel Nausea. Oh, you mean nausea. Nigel Nausea. No, it's Nigel Coxworth. So, what inspired you to be a guitarist? Well, I love rock. I've loved it since I was a kid. You know, I love me rock. Rock's so good. Rock's like the best. You can't get better than rock. You can't get Close to beating rock. It's just too good. Why do you have a band say gung ho? To celebrate. I don't know why I have it. I just love bands on my head. I've had a nice time interviewing with you, Nigel Cogsworth. Now, Biscuit. What made you be a bass player? Well, because I love instruments. You know, I, I had a bass when I was a kid, and I thought it was a guitar. And when I realized it was a bass, I was heartbroken. Seriously, you should have saw my face. But I love the bass now, it is so good. Any more things you want to tell us? Well, how much I love being a rock star. Just like 100%, probably even more than that. Being a rock star means a lot to me. I just love it so much. I'll tell you more in the next interview. Okay. And our final member, the singer, Alan Fartsbush. Well, hi. You know, I am the singer. And, you know, I really put on a voice when I'm singing. Seriously, I do not sound anything like that in real life. Seriously, I go like, yeah, come on, the music is going on. And if you want to see my face, you're going to have to go on to my uh, show. It's called the um, Alan Vaughn Bush Show. You should really check it out. It's really good. But, you know, there's not much to say about me. I, I thought I was a special kid, but I don't think I am anymore. I think I'm just a common guy. Really, I'm an average Joe. Yep. Really average. Really, really average. Can we have a peek at your face? Well, okay. If you say so. You want to take it off because I don't really want to do it. Why don't you want to do it? Because I can't remove it. And basically... I'm stuck with it. Somebody has to remove it off me. Okay, I'll, I'll remove it off you. <laughs> yep. Yep. Alan Farnbush. Yep. Not much special about me, but see you in the next interview. Alright, everybody. That was Animal Rock Interview. Hope you have a nice day.